Hi guys, it's ODA here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, you join me back here to go through part two of my three part series all about how I stay warm during winter. So in case you're new here, I'm currently doing a series all about how I keep warm during winter and it's basically all about the gear and equipment I use to stay nice and warm and comfy during these winter months. So in my previous video, part one, I go, went through all the clothing accessories I use such as snoods, hats, gloves, all that. But in part two, so today, in this video, I'm going to go through, as you can see from my backpack base camp behind me, I'm going to go through all the gear I use to keep warm when either camping or sitting, slash so lounging around at camp or here in the den area whenever I'm filming videos or outdoors. So let's start off with protection on the ground um, to keep you nice and warm. Okay, so obviously when it's been raining lately during winter or something like that, the ground will be wet and damp and that will just leave you. If you then sit down on the ground with it being wet, it will just leave you all cold and it won't be a nice feeling wet. And so that's why protection, I'm calling it, on the ground is super important. So here is something that I'm going to be keeping in my backpack or whatever bag I take out my haversack whatever during winter that's ground sheet it's just a small ground sheet i'm just going to lay it on the ground here and kneel on it or you could sit on it or whatever and it just stops that damp from the ground rising up and getting your whole self and your knees or legs cold because that's the worst feeling ever so that's the first thing ground sheet so also in terms of protection on the ground if you look in the shed here we've got a lot of tops one behind there one there and I've got plenty more in the garage and places and that will keep you warm and you can also use them as a ground sheet. That's another thing. So either a, um, a ground sheet, as you can see there, where I'm sitting, or a top is um, two other things that you can use as protection to keep you nice and warm and stop that cold, damp floor and ground or grass or mud or whatever seeping up and getting yourself cold. So that's the first thing. Okay, so next category we're going to move on to is how I stay warm during camping in the winter months. Now, I don't do that much camping on this channel. I do a bit of camping, but not much on this channel, not much at all during winter. However, some of the items you use for camping might cross over to just lounging or sit around. So first thing, most importantly, is a sleeping bag. So, so the two we use most often is this camouflage one, and this red one, I use the red one more often and it's just a sleeping bag we have. Christmas is fast approaching and I've asked for a new lightweight sleeping bag because these haven't got seasons or whatever so I don't know how warm they are and their minimum or maximum um, temperature ratings. But that's the first thing to keep me nice and warm. And obviously when you're lounging around, you can also use these to wrap up like a blanket. You don't have to use them just for camping if I'm just out doing some whittling or something, I can use them. And then next item is a um, sleeping pad. Obviously you need this for camping. But again, if you want to, you could just inflate this, put it here, and that'll keep you nice and warm when just sitting around. So there, I've tried to brush over camping as quickly as I can, but obviously um, all of which you can use for lounging around as well as just camping. Next up is blankets. Obviously a really important thing to keep you warm during winter so this first blanket is just a black blanket and as you can tell compared both of them this black one's a lot smaller and this is my go-to um camping blanket and if you saw in my photo to announce this series i have wrapped up in this now obviously you can put this on um your ground sheet as well to keep you nice and warm but obviously you can just wrap in up in it i don't have to tell you how a blanket works it's just a small black one folds up really small but it isn't actually that small when you use it so that's the first blanket and then the second blanket i've brought out is just this burgundy one i think it is with this pattern on i don't really use this as much for camping this is more as just a home blanket but obviously i can take any blanket i want out for camping this is my main or sitting around outdoors this is my main one black one packed down really small and this is just other ones an example of other home blankets that i might bring out so that's blankets in my opinion probably the most important thing along with obviously a ground sheet to make sure 
and the ground doesn't get you wet or um, it doesn't uh, make you too cold, blankets are super important. And finally, going on from the theme of sleeping pads, a sit pad. And this is just a full glazed one from um, Decathlon. And I've actually got a full review on this in case you're wondering. I'll link that down in the description. And all that is, is a foam sit pad. But again, you can put that down by your feet um, to keep you nice and warm during winter. And in fact, this is great during all seasons just to bump the comfort and dryness up. And it just folds down some more. A great piece of gear to keep you nice and warm um, and not make you too cold during winter. Keep you dry, protected, all that good stuff. Okay, so last up and finally, um, this isn't really a category of gear I use or anything like that. But these are just accessories that I brought out that helps me. And most importantly, wrap up things. For instance, this is my blanket. Nice and big. But how can you keep it all confined? So I've got these like bedroll straps that go through and you can attach. However, they're not the best and I need to put in some more holes. So that's one thing I could use to wrap it up. Same as sleeping bags. I might use these to wrap my sleeping bags up. But mainly power cords. So I've just brought this out as an example of how I would keep gear. But I'll wrap up this. I'm not doing it very well. But I'll wrap it up so that the power cord ties it up. And then just knot it out. I've just done a bow there. And that's the final thing. Um, accessories to keep all your gear intact. And obviously I've not brought any out with me today. But pouches is another thing that's super important. Um, to keep all your gear organised. Not lost in your pack. And all that good stuff. Okay so I'm just going to wrap this up as quickly as I can. Just a wrap up of everything. Sleeping pads for mainly camping. Also for landing around, sleeping bags, sit pads or mats, ground sheets or tops, blankets, and then other accessories that I may use to keep gear all wrapped up and fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed part two, seeing how I keep warm when lounging or sitting around. If I'm going outdoors to do something like whittling, or archery or cooking or anything like that i want to stay warm and comfy and all that so that's what this gear is perfect for so i hope you enjoyed this video i'll link part one down in the description and i'll also link a playlist where i'll put all these videos in and please stay tuned for part three where we go around how i make fire quickly so i don't have to faff around and fire is obviously super important to keep you nice and warm especially during winter so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed seeing all this gear Please let me know if you think I've missed anything out or have any questions. But thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.